Today, I wanna to talk about whether or not you should invest in real estate with partners. Let's get into it. Now, whether you're an experienced real estate investor or you're looking to get into real estate, you might have considered at one point or another partnering with somebody that you know or somebody who you think can give an advantage to your current position. And whether or not this is advantageous or not really depends on what it is that you're looking to do. But just like anything else, there are pros and cons. So let's talk about some of the pros to start. Starting off with the pros in investing in real estate with partners is that you have somebody that you're gonna work with and is going to be able to shed some light on some of the things that are happening. For example, a lot of people will do partnerships where you have a money partner and then you have them managing partners. So somebody's going to be putting in a majority of the capital and then you're going to have a disbursement of responsibilities where the other person is now doing a lot of the legwork, whether it's the property management, the renovations, or somebody who's just going to manage the whole situation so that the money partner can sit a little back. Your partnership should have a bit of synergy to it and allows each of you to focus on what it is that you're good at. And on top of that, if you're a more experienced real estate investor, there comes a point where you are now hitting a scaling threshold where in partnerships you'll be able to bridge that scaling point and move on to other greater bigger things and this is what's going to take you to that next level on top of that what i think a lot of people including myself benefited from in partnerships when you're starting off is that you have somebody who's going to burden the risk when you're getting started in real estate investing there are definitely a lot of points that you're going to come across that are going to incur a lot of stress onto you and we're talking about things that you might just not be familiar with i'm thinking like if you buy a rental property and you have a tenant that's not going to be paying who is going to burden that stress with you? Who's going to sit there thinking and brainstorming with you how to go about the situation, that partner that you partnered with? Or let's just say you have unexpected bills, you know? I mean, you, you both will have calculated to some degree what it is that you're both might be forking out or your contributions, but if you have to burden an entire renovation bill by yourself, it's not going to be something that's going to allow you to sleep very well at night. However, if you have somebody to split the cost with, half of the problem is definitely a lot more palatable than the whole itself. But you got to remember that these things don't come without their toll. If let's say you approached a partner with a property that you wanted to get into and you told this partner that you have these projections and they agreed with you. But let's just say things didn't unravel quite the way that you were expecting. And then this partner maybe felt as though that they were slightly misled as to what's going to be happening in this partnership. Obviously, you want to set the right expectation in the beginning. And this is very important to do. And this is why it's also important to partner with the right person who will understand this expectation or has some degree of understanding of what real estate investing entails. But let's just say that this person doesn't agree with how the project is going and is saying maybe you sold me on something that I wasn't really prepared to buy into. Now you have a little bit of conflict where, you know, the person that you partnered up with might be thinking, this isn't what I signed up for. These bills I didn't agree to. Just because you didn't do your projections right doesn't mean that I should now have to fork out more money just so that this thing can go the way that you said it was supposed to without me putting in money. These things can cause conflict and this goes into now deciding who you should be partnering with from the start. Now let's talk about people that you can approach for partnerships. A lot of the times people who want to get started in real estate investing will approach family members and friends and people who are close to them because there is a degree of trust that already goes into this and you already have a relationship that you can lean on and leverage. Most of the time when people want to invest money into something, the biggest issue they have is that they don't necessarily trust the person or the organization that is looking to take their investment money and do something with it. But if you, they know you and they know that your intentions are good and they at least know that you're not going to take their money and run or do something stupid with it, this is already a good foundation foundation piece for you to start your real estate investing career. But with that, again, comes the burden of the stress of, hey, I cannot let these people down. But then if you can simply explain to these people that if you care about that relationship, you will succeed, then there is an added faith that you will make sure to make the best of the situation. These aren't necessarily complicated things, but when you're trying to take money from some other people who believe in you, you have to understand that they don't believe in the project you're working on, they believe in you. But now the other side of getting into a partnership is a little bit more distant. And this is also something that is better if you can find it. If you find somebody who simply you meet and you vibe and you can tell that you are on the same path, your objective is the same, you have a common goal, you can both work together diligently and the same towards this thing. This is the best partnership, the ideal partnership. It shouldn't be too close to home because sometimes when you the expectation isn't right from the beginning, you can ruin friendships, you can have difficulties with family members. And then if you lose somebody's money or don't make what you said you would, it can make the family get together a little bit awkward. And this is something that you you really have to consider these things. These aren't these aren't light things. When you're asking people for money, especially people who have worked for that money there's a difference that you need to understand there's a difference between people's savings and people's investment money and a lot of people often mix the two some people will give you their savings and say that this is money for investment but really they worked 
years for this and this money represents something to them that a lot of people don't take into consideration but you if you're taking money from somebody who is close to you you really need to think about these things and treat this with care but without risk there is no reward so the takeaway here is that if you are able to successfully partner with people whether they're money partners working partners equity partners whatever it might be if you can do projects successfully with these people you are creating the foundation piece towards partnerships that will take you far far further than you would have ever been able to go on on your own so if you think that you can find these partners to work with in your real estate investing career definitely foster those relationships and nurture them as best as you can because that is how people scale so now i genuinely want to know how have your partnerships worked out in your real estate investing career make sure to leave us a comment about it in the comments below in the meantime if you have any questions about real estate investing and partnerships make sure to shoot us a text message we're going to leave a number right here and we'll be sure to answer every question that comes through us because we want to connect with you and see how that's going in the meantime make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you on the next one.